Hey Cobra people, just wanted to do a quick video because that's the fastest and easiest way to answer questions. Somebody was asking me about the oil vapor puke tanks that mount on the on the firewall of our cars. Uh, how they connect, what they connect with and that kind of thing. So you can see we have the um, puke tank uh, breather hose mounted to the back of the intake manifold. We've got the um, what are they called? Constant tension clamps connecting the breather plate to the puke tank. And so there's the first big one, the three quarter inch uh, hose that goes from one to the other. Both of those tubes on the puke tank and on the breather plate need a, to have a bead on the end of them so that the constant tension clamps will do their job and have a place to work around and not slide off the uh, oily hoses and hose fittings. Uh, there's a smaller hose you can see on the back of that, that's the 3 8 one, and that drops down into the transmission tunnel and that is connected to the top of the top loader transmission. Uh, I do a little hose nipple on the transmission top loader uh, covers and I have those available on our website, of course, well, all of these parts are. And I believe in the competition cars, they ran a master cylinder reservoir, one of these little brake and clutch cans. They would run that on the inside of the trunk um, as a differential vent. Uh, I have a feeling in the SC cars that this uh, smaller tube on the puke tank might actually connect all the way through and tee into the transmission and connect to the um, breather on the differential. So just taking a look at the other side of the puke tank, I'll just take you for a quick walk around the car, which is dusty and dirty and looks like a barn fine cobra. Um, yeah, we're over on the other side and you can see it gets fairly snug here with um, the top one. Uh, and the puke tank, just so we know what it actually does and how it functions, um, the puke tank is collecting oil vapor from the engine and it condenses and turns back into oil and that explains these two connections on this side of it. Uh, the top one, at the uh, top of the can, connects to one of our Tigon... Uh, tubes, and you can see I'm using the clear tube that goes a nice yucky yellow color to um, show you that it's working and to make it look like an old hose. Um, so this tube here from the top of the puke tank, that drops down to, to the underside of my car out in the airstream, and that is my uh, draft hose or my draft tube, and they're no longer legal uh, they've been replaced by PCVs and everything else. You can see the bottom hose coming off the tank, which is, that's the only one that's at the very bottom of the tank. So that is to catch the uh, oil vapor, let it turn back into oil. And you can see again, we've got clear hoses and the constant tension clamps that comes out of there, runs across the foot box, down the cowl brace tube, gets a little close to the headers here, but it's not a problem if they are clamped back out of the way, as you can see they are here. Uh, and then it, from there, it drops down past the number one header and tucks in underneath the alternator and drops down and connects to the Aviade uh, oil pan. So there's the connections, there's the hose, there's the kind of clamps, there's all the hardware. Um, I'd show you the inside of this, except it is, well, I've got one over here on the bench. Um, so there's a puke tank that I'm not going to unroll all the way. But on the back of it, it just has a um, three-hole plate that lines up with the nut certs in the back of the puke tank. And so this is on the inside of the firewall. The puke tank's on the outside of the firewall. 
Uh, so everything you wanted to know but were afraid to ask about puke tanks, and that is the relative position of it against the back firewall and over the top edge of the passenger footbox. Uh, yeah, happy puking, people. <laughs>